What's that? Yeah, what's that? That's oh, what's that? In Lake Michigan, just off the coast of Poverty Island, while investigating a shipwreck believed to possibly contain $400 million in lost Civil War gold, Rick Lagina and the team have just made what could be a surprising discovery. I haven't seen that before. We got something else there. Possibly two wrecks, one across the top of another. That does. It looks like two. Right now, I'm following the imaging on the screen, and we see what clearly could be a ship. And then all of a sudden, we all kind of realize that there could be two. So we got one oh, shipwreck yeah. this way, and another one laying across Holy it. Holy moly. So you got one here, and the other one across it. And that would fit the story, right? Definitely fits the story. Come on. Come on. This well is great. Done. This is one of those awesome times when what you're finding fits the story. And the story here is that a ship sank after they jettisoned Civil War gold into Lake Michigan. Another ship at a later date came, possibly found some of that gold, but then sank. And so we are finding evidence of two ships. One looks like it could possibly be on top of the other. That fits the story. So that's exciting. That's two ships. It's and two if ships. One went down, and there's already one down. It would pretty much could look like that, right, Mike? That's what I would expect it to look like. I love it. That's awesome. How are you feeling, Jess, right now? You pretty awesome. I'm yeah. like I'm speechless for once. Your hard work's paying off. You know what I mean? You're telling the story, and it's it's emerging right before our eyes. It's incredible. All right, so. I mean, we've seen it from the air. <laughs> we've seen it with our eyes. We've seen it on this imaging. Great job, guys. So next step is what? Let's get in and dive it. Look, I think this is a great day, Rick. It was, it was better than a great day, as far as I'm concerned. And whenever you can take your analytics and overlay it onto the historical narrative, you've, you, you've moved the dial. Mm -hmm. And the next way to move the dial is what, what Mike is saying. You've got to get wet, right? You gotta get wet. Well, it's getting late, so let's get that dive plan going and get back out here tomorrow morning and just get at it. All right. Great day. Mm. It's been a great day. The next morning. Let's get in that water. Mike and Jess Grolo, along with Rick Lagina and Maddie Blake, return to the waters just off the coast of Poverty Island to begin their underwater dive operation. Do we have any zip ties? Joining them is the Grolo's friend, diving expert, John Smith. I have dove with him many, many times in the past, and we share a mutual interest for the, the Poverty Island Gold. He will be helping the team to hopefully find and confirm the existence of two shipwrecks identified during yesterday's side scan sonar search. OK, ready? So the first dive is a reconnaissance dive. We're looking for a second wreck. Um, we're looking for that second shipwreck that's across the top of the older, bigger shipwreck. If we do find something, we need to approach the state and get a permit to bring it up. OK, divers are ready. Divers are down. I'm making my way down. Hey, Mike, it's Maddie in the surface. Just want to see how you guys are doing down there. Over. Wow. There's a pretty good current down here. I could imagine what that current would be like if the wind and waves were going. Do you have eyes on the target? Not that yet. There's so much to look at down here. Mike, just confirming, so you're seeing something over? Yep. Oh, wow, look at that. I think I see the first ship. Affirmative, we've located the first ship. Unbelievable, that's great. This is amazing. Currently, we're over the bow in the shallow part. 
it's pretty broken up up here. They're over that shallow the shallow one, so the part first that we ship. can see. It looks like he said it's pretty broken up. What it looks like to me is maybe this ship went down, and because it was in such a shallow area right off the big lake, waves came in, busted up the wreck. I mean, it looks like a tornado. You know, stuff was rolling down down there, and it's, it's a huge debris field. It's the top deck of the original ship. The one we were able to see from the air. There's a lot of rocks that look like ballast rocks. A lot different from anything else on the floor here. Mike, I'm just confirming ballast rock. You think you see ballast rock over? That's what it appears to be. Well, that would be cool if we have ballast stones down there near the wreck. Ballast stones lying adjacent to the wooden remains of a shipwreck on the lake floor? During the 18th and 19th centuries, ballast stones were commonly placed on the hulls of large sailing vessels to offer additional weight and stability to ships as they traveled over rough or unstable waters. Could these ballast stones suggest that the shipwreck the team has just found might date as far back as the Civil War? If so, might it be the ship that once carried the lost cache of gold that the Captain Lawrence and its crew were reported to have found in 1933, before also sinking to the bottom of the lake? The ballast stones are key in a lot of ways, because first of all, it narrows what kind of ship it could be and when that ship was sailing. All right, I'm going to swim a little bit deeper towards the stern of the wreck. not going to believe this. It looks like we found our second wreck. Oh, Rick, 